Hello everyone and welcome back to Clinical Cousins YouTube channel where today we're going to go over the drug Tylenol-3, also known as codeine acetaminophen. It is an analgesic opioid combo medication used to treat mild, moderate, severe pain and cough. Now we must be aware that there is a risk for both physical and psychological dependence, respiratory depression and acute liver failure if more than 4 grams of acetaminophen is consumed in a day. Please educate your patient that there is acetaminophen or Tylenol in this medication. Therefore, they should be sure not to ingest any more Tylenol than what is prescribed. Also, do not give this medication if your patient has been using a monoamine oxidase inhibitor within the past 14 days. In pregnant women, this drug carries a risk of neonatal withdrawal syndrome due to the presence of an opiate or codeine in this medication. Now, what we need to remember is that codeine is an opiate agonist which causes C or sedation, euphoria, and analgesia. Also, it works in the medulla to suppress the respiratory and cough centers. Next, we have acetaminophen or Tylenol. Acetaminophen works to decrease prostaglandin synthesis. Normally, prostaglandins are produced due to tissue damage. When they travel to the hypothalamus, they produce fever and pain. Acetaminophen inhibits the synthesis of prostaglandins, which will reduce fever and decrease our pain level. Now, this drug will begin to work within 30 minutes and will have effects that last for upwards of 5 hours. Some common side effects of this medication are C, or sedation, euphoria, analgesia, urinary retention, constipation, nausea, and respiratory depression. Some commonly tested material about this medication is that Tylenol-3 is an opiate analgesic with Tylenol and is given to treat mild, moderate, and severe pain. Also, it carries with it the risk of physical and psychological dependence, can cause respiratory depression, constipation, and urinary retention. Lastly, be sure to monitor the patient's intake of additional Tylenol or acetaminophen with this medication. As always, thank you for taking the time to learn with us today, and remember to like and subscribe for more content.